Hi friends, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel. This past spring break, I went on a mission trip to Yucatan, Mexico. And this mission trip was through Focus. And it was my first time. I was super nervous because I didn't know anyone. So I was freaking out. But honestly, it was the best experience of my life. And through this experience, I got to meet so many great holy people. And one of them happens to be a YouTuber. Uh, Giselle has a YouTube channel and she makes really awesome makeup tutorials. I have no experience with makeup but she has great skills so I decided that today I was going to follow her steps and hopefully learn something. Her video starts with her foundation on and if you can't tell I already have my foundation. That's I'm gonna follow. Oh she's already starting. So this is the only stick I have. But in this case, I will be using the regular makeup sponge. Oh, she goes from that. And she does the other thing. Oh my gosh, she's showing along really fast! <laughs> I don't know where else she did it. She did it like it right here. She is beating. Really hard. I don't really know what I'm doing. Do I just beat my? This is why it's called beating your face, huh? Because you're literally beating your face. <laughs> what is that sound? Oh, my computer. I feel like I have blended somewhat. All right. Apply the white powder and the lighter areas and the dark powder and the darker areas to contour. But just in case if I didn't make sense, so I will be showing the colors I use as I go. She's got fancy brushes. People keep touching me. She uses a highlighter for her nose, right? Let me watch that again. So to contour my lips, brow bone, and nose, I use a regular eyeshadow brush. I don't really think it matters as long as it's small enough, the brush. And after that, I just let it bake and move on to do my eyebrows. And then once I'm done with my eyebrows, I just move, remove the excess off from my nose. Like this? All right. So she's doing her eyebrows at this point. Alright, so she uses a brown powder to do her eyebrows. On the edges to make them look even and give it a fuller look. I then go back to removing the excess off from my nose, lips, and brow bones. And with this, I just use any fluffy brush. In this case, I like using the bronzer brush from Sephora number 44. I use this a lot, I know, and I love it because I can use it for so many things. So I suggest that if you don't have this brush, you should definitely get one. Have this brush, you should definitely get one. I have none of the products she has. But then when you're applying highlighter, you shake your brush so that you will remove all the excess and you're literally going to be Because then you're literally going to be dripping and golden. Sometimes that is not too cute. My 
She needs a lighter one. Okay. I have this. But it's a cream one. Okay, so. Oh, where did you apply it? Forehead. I'm not flicking off, sorry. And her forehead, she said. Okay. Why am I going in circular motion? I don't know. I'm definitely glowing. So now I will just be applying my eyeliner. The eyeliner that I use is the liquid eyeliner from Maybelline. The mascara that I use Did for I my eyeliner mascara. mascara. I got mine from Sephora and I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend it. Every day, my favorite one is this one by Kat Von D. And the I don't have a purple one, but I do have this one from Color Fox. So this is my everyday makeup. I'm just wearing it for you guys right now because you'll see me with this almost every day. What do I do? Um. Well, this is what I look like. Clearly, you guys can see that. I'm not as good as Giselle. I'm also going to be linking uh, Giselle's channel in this particular video that I follow underneath below. So you can actually go learn and uh, create the amazing look that she did. Because I didn't do very well. I like exaggerated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!